With tremendous growth came other challenging issues for the search giant Google. The venture capitalists behind the company, Michael Moritz and John Doerr, were pressuring its co-founders to hire a CEO. They were resistant, but they didn't want to say, you know, we can do it. But they thought they could do it. They went through 12, 13, 14 interviews. They didn't like any of the people they, they saw. They visited Steve Jobs just to meet him because he was a hero of theirs. And they said to John Doerr after the meeting, why can't he be our CEO? And of course, he's going to leave Apple to do that. John Doerr, one of Google's venture capitalists, introduced Page and Brin to Eric Schmidt. At first glance, the older Schmidt seemed an odd fit for a young company where employees played volleyball and moved around on scooters and rollerblades. But Schmidt was a businessman with an engineering background, a two-for-one package. Eric had two PhDs and everything, so it, it sort of fit with their mold of getting someone that would be a technologist and not just a, uh, a professional business person. You've just hired Eric Schmidt. He's come over to run Google. Yes, basically. So what, uh, what's the idea behind that? Um, I mean, you guys couldn't run it yourself? Yeah, uh, parental supervision, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> you know, our search engine really serves the world. We perform over 100 million searches a day. Right. It's really important to people. Um, we have a big company, uh, 200 employees. Yeah. It's a large responsibility. And if you can bring in um, experience to help out, I mean, I think that's pretty reasonable. Of course, it makes sense. Eric is a grown-up. In, in the room. I mean, he's he's in his mid fifties, not mid thirties. He's got a lot of experience. He's more of a diplomat than they are, and that's needed in dealing with the traditional media world, which they increasingly are bumping up against. Page and Bryn were sold, especially when they learned Schmidt had gone to Burning Man, the counterculture arts festival in the Nevada desert. The greatest highlight of my of my personal and professional life, I think, is the collaboration that I have with these two extraordinary people. By the end of 2001, Eric Schmidt was Google CEO. Page became president of products, and Bryn the president of technology. The two founders still shared an office. They have a mind melt. They anticipate each other's words. They back each other up. There's no sense of tension between them. That's one of the great strengths of that company. With Eric Schmidt in place, Google kept up its spectacular growth, while its rivals slowly faded away. The search engine linked to three billion web pages and forged a partnership with AOL, which brought them 34 million new customers. You had this incredibly profitable company. How are you going to get it to the next level? How are you going to provide the kind of capital growth that they needed. They were very hungry for more infrastructure, for more employees to get into new lines of business. The solution? It was time for Google to go public.